Hey guys, this is Rob with the next Revit electrical video. In this one, we are going to cover how to interconnect our switchboard, panel boards, meter centers all together logically so that loads propagate up through the system. So let's get right into it. We um, have already developed floor plans and one line diagrams that show where our panels are. Let's look at that right now. First floor power. We have in the electrical room a main distribution board, two branch panels, 1A and 1B, and a meter center, MC1. If you recall, this entire building is a 122083 phase building. We do not have any 480, so no transformers within our building. Um, so that's a different subject. I may touch upon that because hooking up transformers has a couple extra steps. But for this one, we're just going to look at the 208 system, getting that all interconnected. And some people start at the utility connection. So the utility has a transformer, and it would end up being out in the street vault in this building. Sometimes it's a pad mount. Sometimes it's on poles. Sometimes it's in a vault within your building. Um, but we are just concerned with our main distribution board on down through our distribution system. So this is what we have so far. We, uh, you know, it's not quite complete. We don't have it all sized, but at least for now we have the, what I would call the topology of it. So here's our transformer outside coming in through our CTs to a main distribution board with a main breaker. And then we have fuses feeding the meter center few switch feeding panel 1A and a few switch panel feeding panel 1B. So all three of these connect to the main distribution board. So we only have a number of connections to do. So let's take a look at how we do that. The best way to do that is to actually get to the equipment from, from the plan view. So let us start by looking at the main distribution board to make sure it is ready to have other things connected to it. As you recall, in the properties box, there's a lot of information here. So we need to drill down to what's important right now. As you can see, electrical loads, we have zero electrical load on this main distribution board. Switchboard sizes, we've already taken care of that as we entered things. We've gotten the panel name in there, which is good. We have some ratings there, which we can change later if need be. But the main thing is we down here, the maximum number of single pole breakers. Now, this gets a little tricky in Revit that it's going to show us individual feeds on this switchboard that represents three pole feeds typically. So this means that we can have six three pole breakers in here, which should be enough for now. We can change this if we need to. Very important is which distribution system is this. Now, right now, the only one we have available in this project is 12208. So it is set properly. If we had 480, that would pop up as well, and we could change that. So it looks like we are good to go with available poles and we have the correct voltage. We can do the same for the other equipment. Our meter center, the center of this lineup is the piece that we connect. Similarly, it's called MC1 and it is set up for 12208. Then we have panel 1A and it's got some ratings. It can have 42 breakers in it right now. 12208, that matches as well. And same as 1B, 12208. So all of these look compatible as far as voltage and phase. If they were mismatched, it would not let us connect them and we would have to adjust accordingly. So let us get started with connecting panel 1A to our main distribution board. So we click on panel 1A, and it's similar to how we circuited receptacles and other equipment. Up top, we find the power button up here under the Create Systems. So just connect the power button, and we have the similar drop-down 
it gives us a list of all the other equipment that is of the same voltage rating so that we could connect to those. We could actually connect panel 1A to panel 1B if we wanted, or the main, or to the meter center. The other way we can do this also, if you recall, is we can go over to select panel and then select the panel we want to connect to with our cursor rather than a drop down. So let's try that. Connect MDB. So it's saying we're connecting to panel MDB as a circuit breaker. There's other ways to connect. We could connect it with feed through lugs, but in this case, we want it to be a, a breaker. And then similar to how we connected equipment or, you know, fixtures, we have frame and rating of the circuit breaker, which can be changed later. Right now, I'm just going to say, let's connect this with a, with a 200 amp feed for now. And you know, wire types and all of that we're not worried about right now. The default is fine. And we're actually looking at an electrical circuit. We're not looking at the panel board. We're not looking at the MDB. We're looking at an electrical circuit. And it's three poles. And once we've done that, it says the load name. This is like uh, the load description. And just 1A is, oh, we, we, can, we can further refine that. Let's say panel 1A. Panel 1A. That will show up on the schedule for MDB. Panel 1A. And we could even add arc wires, arc conduit if we want to. I don't typically do that for panel boards. If you feel like you want to do that, to just give you a visual indication that it has indeed been circuited, you can do that. But I typically leave it off. So that's as simple as that. I connected panel 1A to MDB. Now, I've already created the panel schedules, but if you haven't created panel schedules yet, you can go up to the Analyze tab, all these things up here, and find panel schedules right here. Panel schedules. And... If you have not created a panel schedule for MDB or 1A or 1B, it will be in the list. So I'm fine right now with what I have. And over here at panel schedules, we can see I already have panel 1A, 1B, MC1, and MDB already created. So if I was to look at MDB, now you will see that I have panel 1A connected. This is what I just typed in for a circuit description panel 1A. And it brings in the loads that were on panel 1A. And it also classifies the loads from all connected panels, which in the case, this case is only 1A, down here. And it applies to man factors and, and things like that. So there we go. That's the first one. Now let's do another one. Let's connect panel 1B. Click on it. Hit the power button. It already remembers MDB from before, so we're good there. We can call this, edit this, panel 1B, enter, and apply it, make it stick. We can give that a rating also of 200 for now. Apply it. And that is done. I'm going to escape out of there, and let's go look at MDB again, the panel schedule. In this case, it's a switchboard schedule, panel 1B. And here we go. This is what's in it. Now, we have some HVAC in panel 1B. So that shows up down here in the load summary for the entire panel. Now, let's connect our meter center. Same way. You see a pattern here. Connect to MDB. And we don't know what size that's going to be. Let's just call it a 400 amp for now. Unless you've done some preliminary square footage sizing, things like that, you won't really have a good feel for that yet. But we get a placeholder in here. And now that is connected to panel MDB. Look again. And there are our three loads. And I can even change this here. Call it meter center MC1. And we don't have anything connected to that yet. But this is simply how we connect panels to switchboards. And all of the loads get brought in automatically. And that follows 
R1 line diagram. Now I wanted to show you too, just in the case of a transformer, I'll need to do a, a practice 480 volt project sometime just to really cement this in. But for now, let's take a look at what that means. If we go down to electrical equipment, we will find dry type transformers right here. And they, they have a number of sizes to choose from. If I just bring, drag in a 75 kVA transformer and what I notice here is you can't see it. Why is that? Well, now that falls into our work set issue. If you look at the bottom, I'm set up for site, the site work set. So that is not turned on for this view. So we need to make sure we have the standard work set, work set one. And I may have to redrag that. Yes, there we go. So this is a transformer where my cursor is, is kind of the back center of it. Um, for now, I'm just going to set it right in the middle of the room because this is just a sample. So there's a transformer. If we click on it, we'll see it's a dry type 480 down to 208 Y123 phase type of transformation. Similar things here. We can give it a panel name. We can call it T, T, TA for panel 1A. It's set up for one three-pole subfeed. And the one thing is it's set up for a distribution system. This happens to be the primary setting. And that comes in automatically. What doesn't come in automatically is what is the secondary distribution? What's the secondary voltage? So we need to remember to, to select that after we put it in. Otherwise, we can't connect anything to it. So we need to find the secondary. So where you find that is up here under electrical, it's under the loads, secondary distribution system. It hides right here. You can see there is no secondary distribution system selected. Click on that and you will see some choices. A 12208Y, which is what we want. You could go 12240 single or even 48277Y if this is just like an isolation transformer that has the same voltage in and out. In our case, we want 12208Y for a secondary distribution system. Apply that. Without having that selected, you will not be able to connect anything to the secondary of this transformer. So just wanted to bring that up. And then the way that gets circuited is similar to what we did. You click on it, power, you would find, this is the primary now, we're connecting this transformer upstream to its primary source. As you can see, we have no available 480 volt panels in this project, but that's how you would connect the primary. Now the secondary, you treat like it's a switchboard or panel. We need to connect something to it. So for example, if I wanted to connect panel 1A to the secondary of this transformer, I would go to panel 1A. I've already, I already have it connected and powered, so I need to change it. So how do I change what circuit it's on? Well, go up here to electrical circuits. You can see that it's already connected to panel MDB. I can simply change its connection from this dropdown or again, select it in plan view. So let me select this transformer. So now this panel board is connected to the transformer. You can verify that over here on the right. If we look at where it's connected, supplied from TA. So it's fed from the transformer. So merely clicking on that changed it. So that's how you can connect panels to a transformer. Now, if I need this transformer to feed two separate panels, I would have to go in and change the maximum number of single pole breakers from three to six. Six enter, let's do that. And now I can go back to panel 1B and again, up to electrical circuits, change it to panel TA. And there it's connected to panel TA as well. Now, if I try to connect a third thing to TA, this is what happens. Let's try to connect MC1 to, to the transformer. Let's change it from MDB to the transformer, TA. Here, we cannot connect 
to, can't connect to panel TA because there aren't enough slots and the feed through lug is unchecked. You can enable a feed through lug and so it gives you some options. Otherwise, let's just cancel. We're not going to connect MC1 to this transformer. So that could happen on a, on a main distribution board. It can happen anywhere when you exceed the number of circuits. So then you need to deal with it. So let us get rid of this transformer and see what happens. What it says down here, when I get rid of a source that had connections, it says the power system unnamed is empty and will be deleted. That just means that it had reserved a circuit to feed it and just call it unnamed. But now panel 1A is connected to nothing. So let's go back and reconnect it to panel MDB, the switchboard. Same here, panel MDB. And MC1 should still be connected to MDB. It is, it wouldn't let us change it. Now, if I want to disconnect, let's say I want to disconnect panel 1A altogether, it'd be similar to how we disconnect receptacles. Remember, you hover over this to get to the circuit, not the panel. You hover over, hit tab, usually a couple times until you can click on it. And now we are in the electrical circuit. Tab once. Now we're in the electrical circuit. Remember, it takes a one tab or two tabs. It depends on what all is connected. So now we are into the electrical circuit of the feed to panel 1A. So we can just, I mean, you can do things like disconnect panel, things like that. I prefer to go through the edit a circuit, remove from the circuit, and remove panel 1A from the circuit and finish. The power system one is empty. Well, it's not very descriptive, but it means circuit one from MDB where 1A used to be fed is now deleted. So now if I was to look at panel MDB, I will see that 1A is no longer connected. So that's how you can connect and disconnect panels. We can simply go back, power it up to panel MDB. And it's already shown there, you're good to go. And we can again make the name panel 1a apply it escape out of there and we see that it's connected to mdb so that is the long and short of how to connect panels together for your distribution system and how the panel schedules work and i think i showed before that you can uh, you know move these around if if i want to use it in a different order let's say i don't want gaps between them i actually want this up i can actually move this up i can move this meter center either up up or down, or I can just say move to, pick the new spot. I can reorder these. So that's um, how that works. Uh, this is a customized template for switchboards. It's in our project template. It only shows the load. It doesn't show circuit breaker or loads because we let our one line diagram dictate the feed rather than the schedule dictating the feed. Uh, breaker or fuse size so that we took that out but it does add up all the loads for you down there so that's it for now until the next one